Welcome to this episode of Now That's Good Chemistry, a podcast devoted to exploring chemicals in our lives. I'm your host, Susan Savage. We are broadcasting from our studio on the campus of Indian Hill High School, located in Cincinnati, Ohio. Our guest today is Julia Conroy from the Cincinnati Drug and Poison Information Center. Thank you for joining us, Ms. Conroy. Can you share with our listeners, what is fentanyl? What is its chemical composition? Where did it come from? And how is it manufactured? Thank you. Well, when talking about fentanyl, it's important to understand that there are really two types of fentanyl. One type of fentanyl is used in medicine as a pain reliever in ill patients. This type of fentanyl was approved by the FDA in 1972 for medical use in humans. Another type of fentanyl, illicitly manufactured fentanyl, or IMF, is produced illegally. This is the type of fentanyl that you've probably heard about in the news and the type of fentanyl that is found in the illicit drug supply. Both are considered synthetic opioids, meaning they are produced in a lab versus coming from a plant. Fentanyl that is used in medicine is manufactured in a controlled laboratory setting, whereas fentanyl that is illegally made is created in illegal drug labs mostly common in China or Mexico. A few years ago, most of the IMF was manufactured in China and then shipped to the US or Mexico to be smuggled across the border. Most recently, fentanyl is now commonly manufactured in Mexico with ingredients that are supplied by China and then smuggled across the border. Illicitly manufactured fentanyl can be either in liquid or powder form. This powder looks like other drugs such as heroin, cocaine, or methamphetamine, so it's impossible to tell if an illegal drug has an IMF in it just by looking at it. The powder can be pressed into tablets as well that look very much like typical prescription medicine. In a previous episode of our podcast, Dr. Mike Dorson of Terra explained how toxicity is a function of the dose, not the chemical. Does fentanyl have any beneficial uses? At what dose does it become toxic? Yes, prescription fentanyl was introduced as a pain reliever in 1972 and it is superior due to its potency. It is used to treat severe pain and chronic illnesses and can be safely given by a physician in appropriate doses. Both prescription fentanyl and IMF become toxic in an extremely small dose because of its potency. For example, Just one ounce of fentanyl can be as potent as one kilogram of heroin. Wow, that is a very scary fact. What does it do to the human body? Why is it so lethal when consumed? Fentanyl can rapidly enter the brain and stiffen the muscles that control breathing, which quickly leads to respiratory depression, slow, weak, or no breathing, and or fatal overdose. The news reports that fentanyl is increasingly appearing in illegal drugs. Is it just hard drugs that fentanyl is showing up in or other drugs? Illegal fentanyl typically appears in cocaine, heroin, or methamphetamine. However, drug dealers may not clean their equipment or surfaces when diluting drugs, so it could potentially appear in any illicit drugs. It is also hard to estimate how potent these mixtures are because they could be mixed with variations of fentanyl or other synthetic opioids, which can be extremely potent and deadly. Fentanyl has also been identified in fake pills and may look similar to oxycodone, a prescription pain medicine, or even candy. More recently, you've heard of rainbow fentanyl, which are brightly colored tablets that contain illegally manufactured fentanyl. What message would you give to our high school students and their parents about what they need to understand about fentanyl? Fentanyl is deadly. Overdose deaths in adolescents have increased. Illegal drug use went down overall among middle and high school students in 2019 to 2020. However, in 14 to 18 year olds, overdose deaths went up 94% from 2019 to 2020 and 20% from 2020 to 2021, according to the CDC. Fentanyl can be present in multiple illicit drugs due to contamination and it's undetectable to the naked eye. Taking any amount of a drug contaminated with IMF or fentanyl can have deadly risks. Bottom line is avoid any drugs unless they're prescribed by your doctor and approved by your parents. If you know of someone who uses illicit drugs, it is important to share these warnings with them. 
There's also a great resource from the Centers for Disease Control, or CDC, on the Loxone, which is the antidote for opioid overdose. That information can be found at cdc.gov slash stop overdose dash naloxone. In addition, knowing first aid and CPR is important for all of us for any emergency situation. The Red Cross offers first aid classes and you can find more information by visiting their website at redcross.org. Is there anything else you think is important for our listeners to know? Fentanyl is a deadly and unpredictable drug and any illegal substance could be contaminated with it. It's better to stay safe than sorry and avoid any substances or products in question. Ms. Conrad, thank you so very much for joining us today and sharing this valuable information. Now, that's good chemistry. Our technical supervisor is the Indian Hill Technology Network Executive Director and technology teacher, Denny Dubbs. Our script supervisor and editor is English teacher Tom Millard. Our graphic designers are student Liz George and Ryan Kennybeck. Our theme music was composed by student Preston Marks. Thanks to the faculty, staff, and administration at Indian Hill for their behind the scene efforts and support. This is our final episode for season one. Please look for the release of season two, episode one, in September 2023. Thank you so much for listening. Until then, I'm your host, Susan Savage.